E aí, pessoal? Sejam todos bem-vindos ao canal de Secando. Meu nome é Michael Maia e ó, o negócio é o seguinte. No dia de hoje, 20 de junho de 2024, tá estreando nos cinemas brasileiros A Maldição de Cinderela. Um filme de terror britânico dos mesmos produtores de Ursinho Poo, Sangue e Mel, com distribuição da A2 Filmes. Vingança é meu desejo. Eu fui convidado pela A2 Filmes para estar presente na pré-estreia de A Maldição de Cinderela que aconteceu em São Paulo, com a presença da atriz protagonista que faz a Cinderela, a Kelly Ryan, e a diretora do filme, Louisa Warren. Infelizmente, não pude estar presente pessoalmente né, no evento, porém, a convite mesmo da A2 Filmes, eu elaborei algumas perguntas, né, fiz uma entrevista para a diretora e para a protagonista, né, que é a intérprete da Cinderela, que vocês vão ver agora. Depois de sofrer na mão de suas meias irmãs e da madrasta malvada, assim sofrendo humilhação no baile, Cinderela é levada ao limite. A fada madrinha concede a ela o poder para sua vingança final. Antes de mais nada, eu queria muito agradecer a dois filmes, né, a imprensa pelo convite e dizer pra vocês que eu já assisti o filme e pretendo fazer uma review aí. Não vou dar muitos detalhes pra não dar spoiler, vocês vão ver isso lá no meu outro vídeo. Porém, inicialmente, deixo vocês aqui com a entrevista, que tá muito bacana, eu espero que vocês gostem. There was, uh, there's a splash of Carrie, um, there's a splash of Evil Dead, a splash of Hellraiser. Um, it's heavily influenced by kind of British period dramas in the way that it's been lit. Because I've just watched so many horror movies, it's just kind of thinking, oh, that worked well in that, that worked well in that. I hope it gets received well. I mean, it's it's a film that doesn't take itself too seriously. So I think that at the very least it's fast paced, it's got a bit of humor, there's there's shock moments, there's gore, and I hope that it's it's I hope it's just going to be entertaining. Yeah, when we arrived yesterday, we had such a lovely reception from everyone. I feel like Brazilians they love horror films, right? And they were all so supportive, yeah. weren't they? And they were clapping and they were laughing, so yeah, we think hopefully it's been well received. I mean, as a director, um, you know, I hope I'll be, <laughs> hope we'll, we'll be offered some more things. <laughs> uh, but in terms of developing things that are talks about several things, um, I've actually done a film called Ouija Castle, which is similarly based on another one. Um, and I think because it's such a fun world to direct, um, yeah, I'd, I'm, I'm, I'd definitely be up for doing more. Definitely, I think, well I grew up watching Disney films and I love all the Disney princesses and then when I was so honoured to be given the role of the iconic Cinderella. Um, so yeah, it was definitely a challenge. I think when we announced the film, it actually went viral and there was so much talk about the film and excitement and there was a lot of pressure, especially playing such an iconic character like Cinderella. So yeah, I did feel the pressure and it was a huge challenge, but um, I loved it and I think it's such a fun spin on her character, not what people are expecting, so yeah. Yeah, I definitely learned a lot on that set, yeah. Um, went through a lot of different emotions, didn't I, in one day. Um, it was very challenging, but I honestly loved, loved it so much. But I think, yeah, most actors are very self-critical of their performances. We don't really like watching ourselves back, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how it went. Um, yeah, you were amazing. Oh, that's you. <laughs> Yeah, well, um, the first horror film I watched was Carrie, the original Carrie, when I was 10. So I think that really affected my brain. <laughs> it really disturbed me for a while, I couldn't sleep for years. Um, but yeah, so I've kind of really got that attachment to like, the Carrie uh, film, which is weird how this has like, come full circle that we incorporated Carrie into this film. Um, so yeah, that, um, I really loved The Craft. I don't know if you've heard of The Craft. There's a character called Nancy, um, like Margot Robbie in Suicide Squad. I think, yeah, there's lots of good female protagonists that play like dark characters. Yeah, I mean, 
how do you play a possessed person? It's, it's not a natural thing to do. So I kind of just had to just stick with my decisions that I made and my choices and just kind of, yeah, do what I believed was natural and what felt right in the moment. And yeah, I just kind of just did what, what, what came naturally to me really, yeah. Oh, Brazil is amazing. We love Brazil. Everything about it, the sun, the food, yeah. everyone's been so nice. We're having such a good time. Yeah. <laughs> e aí, curtiram? Lembrando que a Maldição de Cinderela está em exibição nos cinemas brasileiros. Consulte o cinema mais próximo de você. É um prato cheio para quem gosta do cinema trash e de muita diversão. Gostaria muito de agradecer a todo mundo que está assistindo o vídeo até aqui. Mais uma vez, obrigado a Dois Filmes pelo convite. Aqui me despeço. Continuem de olho no canal de Secando que vai ter muito conteúdo bacana para vocês. E a gente vai se falando, beleza? Mais uma vez, valeu, um grande abraço e até a próxima.